So I told myself that I'm not gonna buy any more Funko Pops. But this one is a little bit different. But the best part is this crazy item. How much? 10 years ago, I played po poker with Rod Stewart. Did you really? So we got three sticks and this guy. What's your magic number? Hey guys, Peter over here. So before we get into today's video, I just wanna say thank you to everyone that left so many great comments about the last video that you guys truly enjoyed the longer format that we did. And we're gonna try to make them even longer now, anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes. It is a little bit of challenging to make a nice flow of that long of a video, but uh, you guys enjoyed it so much, so we're gonna put a lot of work into it to keep them coming like that. And when I have you here, I'm standing next to these uh, Back to the Future Part 2 shoes that I had few questions how much I'm asking for these. These are light up shoes. They do have a charging cable. They will light up for you. They are not official ones that go for crazy thousands of dollars that Nike made, uh, but they are licensed from Universal Studios and I'm asking $450 for them. So if you're interested, send me an email, but uh, let's get into today's video. Plus that bulb's not going to heat up. There's supposed to be like a lava lamp inside. Oh really? That's the whole idea? Well, I'm a dumbass then. That's the shortest... Come on, man. Come on, man. I know, look at this. <laughs> but that's what I was looking for and you can't just buy, I mean... Maybe go to an antique shop and buy a bulb. Does it really supposed to have a lava bowl in there? I don't know, I think there's supposed to be like a little lava lamp in there. I think it's supposed to heat up. I and will fit this. Glitter and stuff. There's no way that's gonna fit in there. Unless you open oh, it up or something. Like yeah, that. well, the lengthwise it would fit because it sits, this sits out like this. This would fit, but diameter of this won't fit in this hole. Yeah, plus I think it's too long. No, 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 this way it will fit. So this, the thread goes into, uh, maybe you're right. Maybe it's like a quarter inch too long. Son of a gun. And I really wanted to show you guys this. Ryan bought this already like a month ago, right? Mm -hmm. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been like a week before your trip, so. So, and this, there's a lava in there that, lava lamp inside that gets heat up and starts moving around. And then these weird colors just appear on this, right? But the best part is, this crazy item, how much? Like 300 bucks? Yeah, I remember it was like in the threes, I think, yeah. Insane, right? So, but I wanted to show it off with the correct bulb. This little guy is too small to really show off too. Because this works, right? Yeah, that and I think it's like a weird color. I don't remember what color that lights up, but it's so, not the correct color. Oh, well, I guess, should we keep this for something else? Might as well, you know, get all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah. We got a few of those uh, not working with that type uh, bar oh, lights. Beer lights, yeah. Yeah, the beer lights. So I'll just hunt this one somewhere at the garage sale, Christmas lights or something, you know. And it's funny because we had boxes of these just a couple of years ago that we unloaded on eBay. Remember, there was like mm -hmm. a dozen in every box, and we yeah. had like 40 boxes or some crazy. And now I don't have any. So anyway. All right, Pete, I'll get out of your way, man. I appreciate sounds you, dude. Thank you. Till next time. All right. Sounds good. Hey, go Bears. Yes. Or I hope they win. Well, they didn't, so. Yeah. I know. Go Bears it's next week, maybe. At we'll least Rodgers is done. Yeah. Oh, year. So I told myself that I'm not going to buy any more Funko Pops. Okay. Um, but this one is a little bit different, right? Not your regular standard yeah, tiny guy. Because I got, but still... 25 left and I'm trying to unload them basically for 10 bucks a pop. Oh, for the little one? The little guys. Because I think that market is so freaking overloaded now that it's crazy, you know? Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong, there's still some here and there that will go for good money, but for the most part, yeah, so what do, what do you want for the Star Wars? I don't know, what can you offer? Five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah, I don't want to take that. 
like that then. What about the little game system? I mean, look, I can buy right now one for fourteen ninety nine. Same one. Plus twenty five shipping. Well, yeah, but you know what I mean, like the value of it. Well, that means it's like the value of it is actually more because the other people are selling it for thirty. And they're the getting rest, it. and they're nineteen ninety nine. So. If you want five bucks, if not, I'm passing. Okay. And I, I, I don't want the pack on. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, no problem. I'll sell it myself online then. You know? Do my so. best with it. What is this thing? Look at this, fully functional. This company still exists, Simplex. It's a two-way jack, right? You can lift up here and you can also lift up here. So this is number 22. This is a 10 pound jack, mainly used in railroad industry, right? If you wanna lift up very, very heavy cart or you lifting up, um, I believe the rail, railroads themselves to put it in correct place. Very cool piece, still fully functional. I don't know how old is this one. The patina tells me that this is probably, I don't know, I'm gonna say 50s. Maybe it's a little bit older than that. Uh, number 22, 10 ton, very cool piece. How much is it worth? They can be all over the place. From 150 bucks all the way to $300 depending on the condition. Um, this one I paid, I think I paid 75 bucks for it. Very cool. I'm not upset that he sold it because it was fading, but it was such a cool artwork that, I don't know. I picked it up at like a flea market for a few dollars. I thought it was a cool piece, but it did survive one season of winter, but it wouldn't survive a second one. So now I'm gonna put up Bono and U2 because they're laminated, so. I need a hammer. <sighs> this decoration has been up for over a year now. Way over a year. If anything, I actually was able to sell quite a few of these signs and replace them because people would spot them and they say, oh, I like this, can, can, I, can you sell it to me? And I can kind of just say, no, I really don't want it. And I can name my price and they say, yeah, come on, and it goes. I don't know of any shops there, pawn shops around here that do carry them, except for maybe Alexander's and McHenry. Um, okay. Other than that, you gotta go to the gun range, like uh, oh. on Target. Yeah, and then that's uh, just off of no north of 176. Okay, yes. Okay. okay. Or you can go to like Marengo Guns. Oh. Anything else? Run out of money. Yeah, you still got something there. <laughs> he wants all my money. You know, he it stole my bills. It helps me sleep better knowing I'm empty out your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Only a singles. One, two, three. You want some quarters three. or some gumballs? <laughs> oh, yeah? They're, they're tasty. <laughs> Thank you. What else? No sunglasses? No. Uh, no sunglasses. No, I think the only pair I got yeah. is here. Right there. No, that's all right. Thank you. Yes. Adios. Adios. You want some help? Oh. No, that's all right. Okay. That's all right. No problem. I have my car riding. Okay. You have a good I rest of your day, man. One by one. One by one. Thank you. Well, what kind of goodies you brought me here? So some A-Track tapes. Yeah. Chicago, Glenn Campbell. Oh, that's a classic. Four-wheel drive. Yeah, Butchman. Okay. Are much better. Sing it again, Rod. Rod Stewart, huh? I actually... <coughs> Ten years ago, I played po poker with Rod Stewart. Did you really? Yes, I went to see a show with my wife in uh, Palms Hotel in Las Vegas. Yeah. And for some reason, we got there way early. And I'm like, you know what, honey, we got a couple hours. Why don't you go play some slot machines? I'm going to hit the poker room. 
and I get in, sign up, and I'm like, anything open right now? I want a, just a quick cash game. I don't care about any tournament. She says, I got one seat uh, at this table. Follow me. I, I sit right next to Rod Stewart because he was performing yeah. for the like a month there straight doing sure. a show, you know? Yeah. And I just, we kind of chatted. It was kind of cool, you know, to meet him. That's awesome. So, yeah, yeah. Amazingly, I was in Vegas and I was I stepped into an elevator. One of my customers is MGM. Right. So we have, we do all their cabling, all their fiber optics and copper cabling for their systems and security cameras. And okay. So I, I jumped into an elevator and all of a sudden it was about to close and this huge guy, tall guy walks in. Uh -huh. It's Stedman, Oprah's husband. Really? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. hey, how you doing? Yeah, see, you never know who you're yeah. going to run into. That's the nice thing about Vegas, you know, there, there, there's so many people, but in between, you got all these celebrities too, you know? Yeah. Back in the day, I was actually in a casino business. So this is, we are going back to early 90s. Yeah. And, uh, and I worked for one of the last joints that was considered still run by the mob. Mm -hmm. It was Barbary Coast. Um, and I got to deal to some cool people. One of them was uh, Clean Eastwood too. What a, the nicest guy ever. Yeah. Now this is, we are talking 30 years ago. So now he's what, like 90? Yeah. And he was in his early 60s, so he was like, you know, on top of the game at that sure. moment, you know. Yeah. It was really nice to meet him, so. What are these? These are chucks for RV. They are. They're uh, for the balancing the, the wheels. They're Anderson blocks. So it balances, it gets you level left to right. Yeah. I, uh, I wish I had these a few months ago when I brought my camper to uh, Door County. I, yeah. I actually, I made my own out of, out, yeah, out of... There's a lot of flex stone there laying around. Mm -hmm. I kind of managed to make my own thing to level sure. this out, but I could use this. For sure. Sure. Gotta do. What is this? That's your trailer jack. Oh yeah, that's a trailer jack. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's all composite. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just sold my travel trailer and I got a big destination trailer that doesn't move. So I'm no okay. longer needing things to tow and level. It's all done. So I'm actually in the same boat because my trailer is kind of parked there forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so that's why I use kind of, you know, block. I'm like, I'm never going to use these really no. because I'm not traveling. It's stationary. It's yeah. there, you know, yeah. so. It's for your weekenders and they use these all over the place yeah, they, and they're they, easy they to use, use too. Yeah. So, so, yeah. The doors, some good titles here. Aerosmith, more doors, Pink Floyd. Wow, that's some good, good record. Sold ya. Yeah, I just sold all my vintage electronics. You did? I did. Why? Because <laughs> I'm not using it. I'm like, man, I need to. I want to get a golf cart for my seasonal site now. Did you buy this from me or something? I did. I think so. Yeah, I did. That yeah. one I did. A few of those I did. Okay. Rush and. I need the wall. What are you thinking? What do you need to get out of this? I mean, like oh. the, the, the Atrix, to be honest with you. Yeah. I know it's a Johnny Cash, but yeah. real to real tapes. You're waiting for that one guy who wants stuff like this. This, on the other hand, I sell all day long. Yep. What do you think? What do you need to get out of it? Just make me an offer. That's fine. 50 bucks? For all this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't do that. So Okay, well, so, talk to me. Yeah, so this one here, that's 30 all day long. I'm talking retail. Right. So, I'll give you, these are worth probably not even a buck each. Yes, some of it is really good, like yeah. obviously, and it's all conditioned too. There is a reason I sold this, this deep purple for okay. 99 cents, because it's rough, right? Totally get it. So, so these are some winners, you know. That. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's not forget right. the NWA album. This is awesome. <laughs> so I think Talk to me. These I mean, here, what do you, what like, do you feel comfortable like these with? These here I would sell to you for... Shit. I would do, for these, I would do 75. It goes right there. Okay. And I would throw these in for part of it. So okay. That's the wall, too. So... Really easy to make double that. You know? 100 bucks for everything. I'll give you what you want for these. I'll mm -hmm. give you 75. Yep. For this stuff, another 25 bucks. I don't want to go higher on this. Though. You don't? Okay. I don't. You don't have customers for that? So, it, I mean, I do, but it's still, you're waiting. 
not every Joe comes in and looks for these. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, if I don't move it here, I'll end up probably putting online. But yeah, yeah. I think these are eighty bucks, brand new. No, they're up there. I know. Yeah, they're a little bit up there, but you know, I can't sell them as brand new. They are used, so. Yep. Um, um, I would do for everything. I think I would do. You don't want these. To be honest, if you want to throw them in, great. If not, I'll pass. I I, okay. I got so many eight tracks, and I'm not moving them. Gotcha. Got I got them all at buck a piece, and I can't move them. Yeah. No, I hear you. I think I would, if you want to throw this in, great. You know, if you want. Um, I would do 125 for everything. I think I, I think I'm just gonna stick with the records then. I, I, I maybe I can give you like ten bucks more. Hundred and ten. I, I really don't want to go any higher than like thirty five bucks for these. I don't. All right, I'll do one ten. It's fine. One ten? Yeah, awesome. All sure. right. Okay, perfect. I do need your idea all right, sure. Yep. Yeah, we recently I started that back room switching over the antique room like half of it now. It's gonna be sports stuff, sports memorabilia, cool. jerseys, sneakers, yeah. you know. Very cool. Kind of new clientele, mm -hmm. plus I'm trying maybe not get away from antiques, but thin it out because it's, it's just not moving. Not sure. as good as it used to, you know, sure. so. All right. Awesome. 110. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Once again. I'm going to look around a little bit. Please do. Maybe you can spend it. <laughs> I would have asked for store credit. That's good. Well, I, I can still give you store credit if you like, you know, no. so. Thank you, though. You're welcome. Did you ever ask the owner to cut the branches in between the buildings? Yes, about 27 times. Plus the branches are on our roof now. Yeah, and, our and roof. this roof. It's everywhere. Yeah, why don't you clean that out? You know? He doesn't care, man. I don't know why. You know? He, I anything. I'm surprised the city doesn't write. The yeah. They don't write nothing. They don't care. The whole place, the whole town looks like crap. <laughs> So I'll mention to him again. We did thank yeah. you. It looked nice. No, I, I seriously, I asked him probably five times to clean yeah, my when, gutters because, yeah. you know, my gutters get yeah. clogged up, especially on that side yeah. from all the leaves. Uh, you need Wait, to, you is need that to loaded? Be, you need to become friends. Is that loaded? It is now. But don't point Ready? at me. I need to become friends with Look. him, right? <laughs> Look. Ah, oh. almost caught the bullet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even like you pointed it I'm at me. It's a it's a plastic BB. What well, what if work? it gets me in the eyes? Well, you got the goggles. Put them on. I don't on. have them on. Put them on. He's recording us. Yes. Can you hear us too? Yeah. He's got the boom I better on. shut up then. <laughs> I won't boom, be alive boom. much longer. Oh man, come on, honey. This was so cool. We got glass all over the thing. Completely. So honey was chasing. A fly or something around the window. She jumped and she knocked this off completely. These are the glass that would go on top of the slot machine. This was so cool. Reel them in, kind of fishing team. We can still keep it here, I guess. It's still attached with the with the tape behind it, but yeah. It's not worth what we're asking now. Well, it was whole thirty-five dollars. Now it's uh, now it's zero dollars. Honey, gonna take it out of your paycheck. Ah, oh, boy. I think I can continue with eBay inventory. I thought you were pretty much done, except unless you want to work on a bottom shelf. Did we ever work on a? I did the app? whole. Because the the bottom bottom. I'm probably app. like a third of the way through everything. Maybe maybe. I just pulled two items out of there because they fell off. This fell off too, but yeah. Nick's thinking that we can't post the uh, tuners. Oh, so that's, that's another thing I think for the shop here. Yeah, very possible. Because that's like uh, anything that uh, super chip flash pack performance tuner. I don't know if this is against eBay's policy or not. Gotta look into this. What do you guys say? Drop a comment below. Is this e against eBay policy? Pete's the record expert here. That one we should charge at least 125 bucks. No, he's asking about like the scuff if he's gonna hear the scuff or you know. Let me see. 
so it won't it will not skip on you but you will hear it yeah you will every time we will go by this i think you will hear not something drastic but it will be there for sure yeah. it's not super deep to cause the skip but it you will definitely any, affect the play you don't have you know? any setup to, to play it here uh i could yeah yeah you want to try it sure yeah give me a minute i'll set it up yeah cool. is that this one uh, it's no no okay the beetles at one point should be a date on an actual album here somewhere. Huh. No date. I really gotta look it up then. Pink Freud relics. Now the album is actually in excellent condition overall. Yeah. No scratches, no nothing. The cover looks like it went through hell and uh, and the sleeve itself. It did its it did its job. <laughs> no date up here either. That's weird. But see, this song. Produced 1968, 68, 69, 69, 69, 67, produced 67, 67, so... Who released He looks this? like the guy that was uh, the... Manufacturer, marked and distributed by Capitol Records. He looks like the Zolfon guy or whatever that you put your cord in and you make a lift. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah. The other side does. And this is really beat up, but I wonder what this goes for. Yeah, let's take it out and look it up. Uh, I feel like when I look at the front cover, I feel like my eyes are messing up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, am I looking at this wow. right? Yeah. Okay. So the UK pressing looks totally different than the American pressing. Look how the cover looks from the UK pressing. Released in 1971. And this is the original US pressing that we got and came out in What's 1971. Going? And look at this is much better condition overall the like the cover at least is mm -hmm. 16 bucks i'm surprised well, not not a whole lot of money at all i figured it would be like 60 bucks or something i know something like that 22 dollars is like high here's one for 49 though this is venezuela vinyl so it's like an import yeah well this one in this condition we won't be able to ask i mean the lp is still great but i wouldn't ask more than like 15 bucks and somebody gives us $12, we'll be happy. Yeah. This is my favorite album by them, The Dark Side of the Moon. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. I like the Division Bell. That's a good one. Pulse is another good one. I like that one. It's a lot with David Cohen. I mean, though. The Wall is great, too. Yeah. We don't need no education. We actually cover a couple uh, of their songs. I think that's our price. Yeah. That's not. Nope. Don't know, like don't, don't, don't know this album, what Let it, it Bleed by Rolling Stones. What year is that one? That would be an old one. 67. Is it? I don't know. Probably. Doesn't say. What's wrong with these records? They have no dates on them. That one is actually pretty clean. But that's London <laughs> Stereophonic, so you know that's 60s. Yeah, it's probably 67. Huh. Maybe. That's my guess. According to this package, uh, this is a high tech model. Somebody brought it on the table that I didn't buy. What's going on, Scott? Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for everything. Yeah. No? I'd like to accommodate you. But I'm not that easy. <laughs> not that easy. <laughs> uh, are they straight all over? Um that one had a little bit of a uh, wobble. wobble, but not perfect. Yeah. This one was like perfect. I think that one was good. It's licensed. It's mine. 20 years old. Yeah. I don't have any sticks right now, and I, I don't sell many of them, but occasionally people ask, you know, so. What are these? Oh, no. Made in Japan, 60s. Yeah, I was gonna say I. I yeah, sorry. I, it's stuff like that right now. I think it's $30 item on eBay. High-tech model here. What is this? I was thinking like 30 on that. Okay. So what are you what are you thinking, Scott? Talk to me. Tell me some more about the element. Find I couldn't find anything on it. So we got three sticks and this guy. What's your magic number? 120 with the cases. 120. So that tells me you want thirty dollars a stick. Yep. That's high end. This is decent. 
this is, I'm, I know this high end, the element, but I couldn't find any on it either. High end, and 18 this, ounce made in China. And for one point, well, that, that's the only Chinese one there. Uh, that one and I'll throw that in for one point. Oh. I tell you what, I'll do hundred bucks. I don't want to go on twenty. I, I I think that's a fair offer for this. Let's split. All right, I just changed my mind. Ninety bucks. One twenty. No, no, seriously, I don't, I I don't want to be in these more than like seventy bucks. I don't. So. Your call. Thir I can do like if you decide yeah, not yeah, on the sticks, thirty on this and then seventy on, on both cues. Let's do it. Do it. Um, just jump to me. Ed. Sorry. Oh, oh. I see it. I I've got a dozen oh, okay. more. Uh, okay. All right. Let me have your ID again, please. I don't know. You probably more know about these than I do. Oh, man, I used to be a <laughs> so. No, it's. What are you thinking? I'll make you a deal. 40? 40 might be 45. I'll, I'll do 45. I'll take 15 bucks off. Do 40, 250. I don't know if it's going to be through idios. Come on. I'm serious. I'll 40, get baby monitors. And I'll be a, I'm, I'm an ex-camper. I'll, I'll get baby radios and I'll get baby monitors and cams otherwise. 43. 43. You got 43. All six. Yeah, flu. Yeah. Hot, felt like shit, and cooking, and exactly. And then you felt like shit for three days, then you felt good for like four or five hours, then you go start doing something, and by noon you're sick again. Yeah. And then the next, then you lay down. See, that's what I had. Drink the like, shit, and then also the next day, you feel good again till noon, everybody, same. I had the same thing, I was like, felt really crappy for three days, and then yeah. all of a sudden it went away, I'm like, okay, got good done. Good to go. One day later, bad again. Bad again. It's, it's like 10 days like that. I don't know. You know. I don't know. I mean, so I was good to like one o'clock. No. Mm -mm. Oh, I just had sniffles. And oh, the runny nose. I see it's I half of it's allergy. Bit. My eye, I thought it was gonna fall out. Crying all the time, and the allergies somehow are doing something with that. I, I did. It was have on the like news. Itchy eyes. Oh, dude, coughing and gagging. One night, I must went to the hospital. I couldn't hardly breathe. Really? I go, what in the hell did I do to myself? Cause I smoke and shit. I start getting yeah. scared, you know. And all of a sudden, I take the. Mucinex and then that cold and flu shit. A little screw to that every time I get up. And I got through it. I actually feel pretty good today. Now I'm just a little bit tired. Yeah. You know? The morning I watered the flowers, had two beers at 6 30. Yeah. You, you like that one? You hear that? Huh? You got to cough up some money now. That's all right. Yeah. It's like coming and going. Today's like the and first I, day I, I made it this far. Yeah. But feeling, it's like, feeling good. The one that matches. Yeah, better. Yeah. yeah. I felt great this morning. A little How tired, but yeah. Son of a bitch. Everybody's got it. Yeah. it it's been going around. I guess the like, school got it, and kids yeah. go to school, and then noon, one o'clock, one lady said, "I gotta go get her kids." You know, nose is running, coughing and gagging, and everybody's paranoid. You know, oh my God, you got the corona and the bullshit. And <laughs> they already yeah. said that fight. She said those, those masks were bullshit. Yeah. None of that stuff worked. They all said it goes. It's worthless. But the doctors and the dentists, they all wear them, you know? Yeah. I think it's more so you don't spittle on somebody. I don't think that mask should... It's bullshit. I'm sorry it's taking me a minute here, but... It's okay. Um, $1,425. That's what I could do. Yes. Would it be bad if I said I would take it? I don't know. I mean, it's your it's your coin. I need you the know? money more than anything. So. so now, when when you get these coins and they would end up getting like graded, they even will bring a little bit more money. Um, just to show you here, for example, like this is a company NGC that grades these coins, right? And this one comes in at sixty nine. That's very high grade, and and it's sold for twenty one hundred dollars. Yeah. Now the way this coin sits, I'll probably get. Depends on the market. Every day fluctuates a little bit, anywhere between eighteen to nineteen hundred dollars. Yeah. You know, so I'm offering you fourteen twenty-five. That's my margin. That's what I'm gonna make. You know, three four hundred bucks. Um, I'll take it. You want to do it? Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. I do need your ID. I'll write you up. Okay. Bees in the air. One, one, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one thousand. 
One, two, three, four, fifty. Fourteen fifty, much. okay? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and Thank if you, you decide to sell more, just let me know. You okay. Know? Yeah. So it might be no. from day to day it fluctuates okay. because it's gold. Yeah. So it might be a few dollars different next time if you bring the same coin. Okay. You know? Yeah, so. I'm, I'm I think it's the same coin. I'm not sure. She just kinda like handed them out at the dinner table. So Okay. All right. Well, we'll I hope you Thank can you put it much. to a good use. Yep. Uh, oh, I will. Believe me, we got birthday party coming <laughs> up for the kids. So. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Uh huh. Bye bye. Just in the front, people like these, uh -huh. and then just. Yeah, people come in all okay. But you should be pretty good. Check it out. So power is on. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. It's good. Yeah. Before it was like all blurry. You couldn't see anything out of these. You know. So. Is it me or is it something uh, broken off here? I think it's, <clears throat> I think something's on there like, uh, you just gotta wipe it off. Yeah. Just wipe it off with a rag when we come in here and I bet you'll come up. It looks what it looks like to me. Night Owl Optics. NOBG1. Sounds good. Let's do it. What's up? I don't think that's gonna go on eBay. Beautiful fishies. Original price $24.99. Yeah. So it's like a lava lamp, right? Fantastic. Pretty, pretty lamp. much. Okay. Um, I didn't find the exact one. I found similar ones, but they're like 10 to 15 bucks. Right now, there's a dozen different Chinese ones. They're all like 18 for And it is Chinese, so. What right. We Ours is just older Chinese. What do we got in it? Five bucks. Five. Yeah, we'll put it here for $15 and get 10. Yep. That will work. Okay, cool. Yep. Thank you.